All right, eve of another Highland Derby. The shine doesn't seem to have gone off it for the fans. Is how are the players feeling? Yeah, the same really. I mean, every time we play them, people say it's the biggest one that's ever been, and for various reasons. And sort of, you know, because we've done so well throughout the season, um, we've been up there for the majority, certainly for the last few months. And it's a huge credit to Ross County how well they've done just recently. Um, and it's for th those reasons that it is such a big game. You know, nobody would really have expected both sides to be up here at this this stage of the season. Um, and yeah, it's, a, it's one to look forward to. The form book kind of goes out the window when you go into these games. Uh, but this is the first time this season where Ross County perhaps have the better form going into the game. Yeah, I think they would have been sort of looking forward to the game, wanting the game to, to just come as, as soon as possible. But, uh, you know, we, we feel comfortable with it all, to be honest. We, we've we've enjoyed playing against them this season. They've, they've not always been the prettiest games um, to play in, but probably for the for fans to, to watch, they've, they've been exciting and they've had a bit of everything really, so that probably won't, won't be any different tomorrow. Um, but you know, the, the times we've played against them this season, the majority of those times we've, we've sort of had cool heads under, under pressure if you like, and that's served as well so far, um, and hopefully we can do the same tomorrow. Yeah, we've seen, seen in the last couple of weeks, we've seen some wizardry and trickery coming from set pieces and corners, Teddy's talked about that. Something you've been working on in training. Um, I'm not asking for any details, but anything you up your sleeve for tomorrow? Um, uh, maybe one or two little things, but uh, it's always nice to have that sort of when you're a threat from set pieces. It it just adds that extra dimension of where you get your goals from, and and that's a, certainly worked for us in the last couple of weeks. Certainly at Hearts last week, where all three goals came from set pieces. So uh, I'm sure Ross County will be prepared and, and as prepared as they can be for for those set pieces, but. Uh, Certainly, an area we'll we'll be looking to exploit. And Gary Warren, the scorer of two last weekend, he missed out on Wednesday night. He's back. He certainly seems to like those set pieces. He, yeah, he's he's like a magnet. You know, he's I think he's got a magnet in his forehead uh, for the ball. Always hungry and really ho shows that desire in the box to, to get on the end of things. And you know that's really difficult to pick up and difficult to mark. And um, hopefully he can carry on. You know, getting back in the side and. and Carry on where he left off last, last week at Hearts and uh, keep chipping in with the goals. And you yourself have been still firing them in from, from a distance. You set piece last weekend. And, uh. Yeah, trying, trying, uh, trying to strike them when, when the opportunities come. You know, I've scored twice this season. Would have liked to have added one or two more. Um, there's still time for that to come. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying my luck and hopefully one will go in uh, pretty soon. The pitch is a bit tighter over at Ross County than it is here, so I'm sure that you'll be hearing the fans. Yeah, I'll, maybe I'll start shooting from my own half or something. But uh, no, it's 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 always nice. To, tomorrow's a, a game to look forward to for all of us, really. Everybody involved, the fans, the the staff at the club and stuff. Um, and as cliched as it is, there's just three points available. No, no more. Um, and that's what we look, we'll uh, be looking to come home with with all three. And just finally, we're sitting third in the league ourselves. Ross County are sitting fourth. Mm -hmm. Sends a bit of a message to the rest of Scottish football. It does. No, nobody would have expected it, you know. Probably, probably people from within both clubs that w would would feel the same if they were being completely honest. So, hopefully, we can carry on. You know, it's it's what's important is we're sort of up there at the end of the season. You know, to make all this worthwhile, being in second, third position for the majority of the season, certainly the last few months, uh, we need to carry on now, crack on, and, and uh, make sure we're there. Come, come what may. Thank you very much. Cheers, Stop, man.